Hello, I'm Christian from the Communities team at the National Football Museum. The museum's collection is packed with the history of the game of our lives. In this video, I'll be taking you through 11 objects from the museum's collection that reflect England's campaigns in previous European Championships. Warning, this list might feature a lot from Euro 96. We start with an object from England's first Championship appearance. The programme from the first leg of the 1968 European Championships quarter-final between England and Spain. As was the size of the tournament in the early days, the match was effectively a qualifier. England won the game 1-0, Bobby Charlton scoring the only goal, and won the return leg 2-1 to qualify for the tournament proper in Italy. So Alf Ramsey's men would lose their semi-final 1-0 to Yugoslavia, with Alan Mullery becoming the first England player to receive a red card in the game. We have to fast forward 20 years for our next two entries, two iconic shirts from Euros past. Netherlands and West Germany's home shirts from the 1988 European Championships. At the time, this shirt wasn't popular with Rudd Hullet and Co, but the Dutch knocked out West Germany before beating the Soviet Union in the final. West Germany would later find success in this shirt, winning the 1990 World Cup with the same Adidas design. As for England, despite high hopes, they'd go out in the group stages with three straight losses. Next, we move to the tournament close to the heart of English football fans, Euro 96. Here are four lamppost banners promoting the tournament. The tournament branding featured legends of British football history, including Manchester City and United Welsh winger Billy Meredith, the Wizard of the Dribble Sir Stanley Matthews, World Cup winning captain Bobby Moore, and World Cup Golden Boot winner Gary Lineker. If it's Euro 96 memorabilia you're after, you've come to the right place. Next is a selection of branded mugs from the tournament. We've tons of mugs commemorating England's appearances at the European Championships, in fact. A photo of then England manager Terry Venables enjoying a brew even features in our current exhibition, Still Gleaming. It wouldn't remain this relaxing for England during the tournament itself, however. Our sixth object relates to wider pop culture around Euro 96. The sofa from Badeon Skinner's European Fantasy Football League. The TV show, along with the single with the lightning seeds, Three Lions, made the comedy pair household names during the tournament. Football's Coming Home has continued to soundtrack England's appearances at major tournaments ever since, summing up the tongue-in-cheek optimism of the nation's football fans. Our seventh object is from the top score of Euro 96, worn in one of the tournament's defining games. Alan Shearer's match-worn shirt from England's 2-0 win against Scotland. Shearer would score the first goal of the game, but it would be teammate Paul Gascoigne's memorable strike that would be replayed endlessly by fans, complete with the infamous dentist chair celebration. Following the Scotland win, England faced the Netherlands team who'd knocked them out of the 1994 World Cup qualifiers. What came next remains one of England's most complete performances as a free-flowing attack put four past the Dutch. This programme from the game is one of several from the competition in the National Football Museum's collection, having previously appeared on display alongside the bright Lotto Netherlands shirt from this same tournament. The 1990s really were a peak for bright colourful football shirts, and although England's away shirt was a drab grey design for Euro 96, they made up for it with this goalkeeper jersey. Famously worn by David Seaman during the semi-final encounter with Germany, the design featured in our 2019-20 strip, How Football Got Shirty exhibition. An image of Seaman watching on as Gareth Southgate's penalty is saved also features in our current Still Gleaming exhibition. Produced with photo partners, Mirror Picks. Our tenth object is another football shirt from a heartbreaking England exit. This time, England's away shirt from the 2004 European Championships. This Umbro strip is featured in several museum exhibitions and a match-worn version from Lioness's legend, Rachel Yankee, is currently on display in our English Football Hall of Fame exhibition. We finish with several magazines previewing England's various involvements in past European Championships. Pictured here we have 442 from the 2000 and 2012 tournaments. The first features a strike force of Alan Shearer and Michael Owen, and the second, rather optimistically, tips England's chances for the 2012 tournament. Magazines and print media make up a large part of our collection at the National Football Museum and give a pretty good insight into the optimism around various tournaments that England have been involved in. So that's our 11 museum objects related to England at the Euros, but which objects would you include? Let us know in the comments. Find these and thousands of other objects in our online collection at nationalfootballmuseum.com. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more football history content.